quiero presentar a la profesora Lilia Saborío. Lilia, si gusta, nos compartes ya la presentación. Uh -huh. Entonces, quiero darle la bienvenida y también agradecer a los compañeros del comité organizador que nos acompañan, a los estudiantes que nos acompañan y, por supuesto, a la profesora Lilia Saborío. Lilia Saborío es bachiller en inglés y máster en la enseñanza del inglés de la Universidad de Costa Rica. Tiene un técnico en la enseñanza del español como segunda lengua del Instituto Tecnológico de Costa Rica. Actualmente cursa la maestría en literatura inglesa de la Universidad de Costa Rica, la maestría en administración educativa y la licenciatura en docencia de la Universidad Castro Carazo. Cuenta con las certificaciones TKT y con el TOEFL IBT Workshop Certificate. Fue presentadora en la Conferencia Nacional de Profesores de Inglés del Centro Cultural y en el Congreso Internacional de Lengua Moderna de la Universidad de Costa Rica. Cuenta con 15 años de experiencia docente, tanto en instituciones de educación bilingüe a nivel de primaria y secundaria, como en el Centro Cultural Costarricense Norteamericano. Y también ha laborado en centros de educación superior, como la Universidad de Costa Rica y la Universidad Americana. Actualmente labora como docente en la Universidad Castro Carazo, la Universidad Latina y la ULACI. Entonces, Lilia, bienvenida, muchas gracias. En esta actividad, la profesora Lilia es quien nos va a liderar. Ella nos va a explicar en qué consiste la actividad. Bienvenida. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches a todos. Gracias a, a todos los estudiantes que nos están acompañando en este momento. Eh, y buenas noches. Eh, ¿Qué es la actividad que tenemos para hoy? Así como lo pueden ver proyectado, tenemos un talkathon. Voy a indicarles en español qué significa, qué es lo que vamos a realizar y luego este, lo explico en inglés también. ¿Qué es un talkathon? Es una actividad donde eh, conversamos, practicamos conversación por un periodo de tiempo esperado y temas de interés común. El objetivo que tenemos para esta actividad es que ustedes puedan practicar, puedan desarrollar sus destrezas orales y puedan este, hacer uso del vocabulario y las estructuras que han venido aprendiendo en los cursos que han llevado en, en la Universidad Castro Carazo. Eh, todos los temas que preparamos en la actividad son temas del programa de estudio de los cursos de inglés de la universidad. Entonces, de verdad esperamos que aprovechen bastante. Lo que vamos a hacer es eh, dividirlos a ustedes en diferentes salas para que ustedes puedan conversar. Puede ser que conozcan a las personas de la sala, puede ser que no. Les van a tocar preguntas diferentes, entonces es importante que hablen bastante de esas preguntas. Y la directora los va a ir visitando para darles apoyo y también conversar y compartir con ustedes. Entonces, de verdad esperamos que aprovechen este espacio, que hablen bastante. Y si surge alguna duda y en ese momento la directora no está con ustedes, la pueden anotar en el chat para que a la vuelta podamos conversar. Ya sea una duda de pronunciación o alguna pregunta que tuvieron duda cuál era realmente la estructura correcta para contestar. ¿De acuerdo? Entonces, voy a explicar ahora en inglés. Uh -huh. Disculpen, aquí estoy viendo unos mensajes de los estudiantes. Pero ustedes ingresaron sin problema, los que se conectaron, ¿sí? Ok, dice Kevin que sí por el link. Ok, nada más voy a contestarle a esta estudiante que lo vuelva a intentar para que ella pueda entrar. Y les voy a explicar en inglés entonces para que podamos dar inicio con la actividad. Entonces, vamos acá. So, good evening everybody. This is a talkathon. What is a talkathon? It's a long session of discussion of different topics. And the questions that we have here, we prepare questions to practice a variety of tenses. Sometimes it's very easy for you just to give a short answer. So we expect that you give long answers and you share your experience with your classmates. 
you will be working in groups. Groups of three, group of two, it depends on the quantity of people that we have today. What is the objective of the activity that you use your English, the English that you have been learning during the courses, during the previous weeks here at the university? And we really hope you uh, take advantage of the activity that you learn, that you have this space to practice because sometimes during the week you don't have that opportunity. You just speak in Spanish at work. So this is the moment for you to practice and learn from your partners as well. Here I have um, the instructions in English. OK, I am going to. Have this bigger for you. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, it says take a screenshot or picture of the questions, but that is not necessary because someone from the university is going to give you the questions. Number two, you will be directed to a small room where you will be sharing with other participants. You need to accept the invitation to go to the other room, like you know when we work with breakout rooms. When the activity is over, you will be returned to the main room. If you don't know what to do, if you get disconnected or get disoriented, please log out and log in to the same original Teams link. Try to use English only and have fun and be friendly with the activity. I would like to know, these are very uh, simple instructions, but I would like to know if anybody has any question regarding the instructions for the activity so we can help you. It's very clear, yes? Okay. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Thank you for the answer. Um, right there, you have some instructions mm -hmm, that in the chat you can type any question that you want to ask at the end of the activity. And well, that will be my, my part right now with the instructions. Just let me check the quantity of people that we have right now. We have uh, 10 students so far, Liana. Okay, perfect. So just to uh, remind everybody that there are some students who will stay with Lilia in the main room for the um, for the sake of the recording, but for the people who are watching this, who will be watching this video when it's on YouTube. In the meantime, all the other students will be in uh, breakout rooms mm -hmm. and I will be visiting the rooms. So Lilia, get, let us know and let Alex know when we are ready for him to start the uh, rooms. Yes, I was just checking uh, my student that she's trying to log in, but then if she log, if she can make it, we can send send her to to the breaker room. Okay. So Alex, uh, maybe you can help us now with the rooms. It's okay. Yes, ten people. Okay. Probably some people will be late. Little. OK, some people will stay here with me in the main room, OK? So that you know that you're not going to get, let's say, any invitation mm -hmm, to go to another room. OK, we're going to start in a minute. Just give me a moment to check something here. Uh -huh. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so here in the main room, I have Kevin. How are you, Kevin? Hi, teacher. Doing great. What about you? Fine, thank you. Finally, Friday. Yes, Nubia, yes, how are is. you? <laughs> good evening, teacher. I'm very, I'm very good. Cool. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining. Hello, Magali. How are you? Fine, thanks. Are you? Fine, thank you for joining the session. Hello, Marta. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to uh, share the questions with you. Mm -hmm. Just let me send the link to one of my students that is trying to join and we can start. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hello, Diana, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm well. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, this is the main room, and uh, we will be discussing some questions. Okay, Diana? Um, some of your partners are in other rooms, but you can stay here with us. Let me share the screen with you. Um, if you can activate your camera, it, it will be better. If you can't, we understand as long as we have the conversation and we can participate in the conversation. Okay, let me show you the questions that we have for this group. Thank you, Marta. Okay, so I'm showing the questions. Yes, can you see them? Questions for group work main room. Yes. Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm gonna yes. try to them bigger because these are for you. Okay. I'm gonna give you some seconds and we're gonna start in. Um, teacher, I have a question. Uh, what does it mean? What is well served meal? Me. Uh huh. Okay. So let's start reading the questions. Uh, can you describe a place in which you were very well served? Let's say when someone gave you a service. Mm -hmm. Could be a restaurant, a hotel, yes? And you, and you got a really good service. Mm -hmm. The other question is, um, when was the last time you were invited to a wedding? And have you ever been given a surprise? So let's start with the first one. I'm going to change its color so we can focus on this one. Yes. Uh huh. Let's start over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to give you some seconds to think about a possible answer and we start a discussion. Yes, I'll give you like 20 seconds. Think about that and we can start. Okay, so let's think of this place. Mm -hmm. So we're thinking about the past. Yes, we're thinking about a place where you were very well served. Who would like to start giving us a description of that place? I can start. Thank you, Kevin. Sure. Um, do you want me just to describe the, the, the place or all over the, the experience? 
Okay, yes, let's have both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it, it, it was a, a good place. It was a, a tattoo studio. So I got a, another tattoo here in my arm. <laughs> so um, it was, of course, first thing, it was a clean room completely. So you make sure that you will not going to have, you know, problems where you get in the, the tattoo in your skin. Um, the guy who gave us the, the service was a really amazing um, uh, boy there who, uh, you know, you you see that he enjoyed his profession. So th this is the first thing that you need to look. And also he is completely an, an artist. So he had a lot of paintings in the wall. Uh, it, it was a wide big room with a big sofa and it was so comfy you know and it was really cool place so it was you know around the corner from the university in San Jose so it was really nice at the very beginning I was scared because it was on the third floor and you need to, you know, go upstairs, but it was like dark in the middle. But when you go to the third floor, it was a big room. So with a lot of lights, with these arts in the walls, uh, with a lot of colors. So it was amazing. And the, the thing that I most enjoy was when he mentioned that he did not uh, th that he's an artist, so it is more about the experience and not about just getting there, get your tattoo, and then live it, right? So it is about, uh, you know, seeing the pictures, seeing the, the 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 place, staying there, feeling, you know, comfortable. They have uh, music, so you can stay relaxed and you can enjoy that moment. So for sure, it was completely a different experience from another tattoo places that, that I visited before. And I can give them 10, 10 of 10. It was definitely a great place. And of course, it's important to have a good service when when the experience is painful at the same time. So, yes, exactly. And and this is what what he recommend that hey, it, it is not a, it is about enjoying that more than thinking hey, this is you will going to feel the pain. So mm -hmm. let's get relaxed. Let's feel great, and then you can just when you feel okay and you feel in, you know, you get a, the same mood that you have in the place. So there is when you you can get your tattoo there. So it was nice. That was a nice example mm -hmm. because uh, going to a tattoo place is like a lot of emotions at the same time. So having a good service and, and you feeling like you were very well served, it was nice for you. Thank you, Kevin, yep. for sharing. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. OK, uh, who would like to, to continue sharing a place? Uh, guys, when you remember that you were very well served and you felt very satisfied with the service from that place. Um, well, yes. Um, well, I have one. Sorry if I can use my camera. It's that my internet. <laughs> But yes, I know, um, I know it's. Uh, I knew it's, it's mm -hmm. a place called La Cholatila. There is in Tibas. It's a, a small restaurant, and and they they sell food, typical food like gallo pinto, chuflico, patacotes, and it, it's delicious. The, the the food is delicious. I recommend it. <laughs> Um, about the decoration, maybe mm. it's it's simple, but the tables and the chairs are fancy, kind of fancy. Um, well, I I don't know how can I explain that place, but what I liked the um the most thing that I liked was that they didn't make excuses or any kind of discrimination towards my sister because she is autistic. Mm. And as ma in many places that we have been with her, that was uh, that's what that was what I liked the, the most in that. OK, 
I think, Marta, that is a very important aspect because not in every places they have this training uh, to deal with different people and different with different people with different abilities, right? So I think uh, that is something very nice. And um, was the food good? Did you like the food? Ah, uh, yes, something happened with the microphone. OK, I'm going to tell them. That the guy in charge, don't worry. OK, well, we fixed that. Um, so for right now we have Kevin and Kevin mentioned at the two places and Marta mentioned a restaurant that she remembers she got a really good service. Yes. Um, let's see who else would like to continue with the first question. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the chat if you want to continue while we fix the microphone. OK, Magali, you want to continue? OK, uh, I'm OK, they're giving you the permission. Uh huh. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Well, uh, the same experience that Marta, because I received a good service in a um, restaurant called uh, Don Carlos, Hotel Don Carlos. It is very close to my office. And when I well, I used to to visit that place uh, in three years ago, and they always give gave me a good service because they wow. give me um, dessert and bread, and delicious bread, and, and main plate. It's very good and tasty. Um, they offered me coffee um the service was really good the place were nice the place was uh, were very nice because it's a it looks like a old house uh -huh. and and the restroom is very clean uh, unfortunately i realized uh, one month ago that place were closed but uh, I remember I have uh, good memories about that place because the service was very good and the food was excellent. And the place has uh, had, um, um, I don't know, like um, nostalgic and the fear because they had a lot of uh, old things. The, um, the shirts were so, I don't know, was made of metal, um, very heavy too but the service was very okay and very very well um the the waiters and waitress were very nice and uh, they offer uh, they offer a good um, service okay um you mentioned two important things magali that the bread was delicious for me bread is very important yes and the atmosphere that you felt in the place mm -hmm. so that is very nice the service is part of that but how we feel in the place mm -hmm, is, is connected to that for the rest of the people here in the session i would like to ask you some more specific questions before we move to question number two so it could be nuria or it could be diana or christian that you're here yes okay um have you ever been to a tattoo place like kevin and and you remember having this very uh nice service or have you ever been to a restaurant like in the case of marta and the case of magali that you remember you were very well served mm -hmm. any any of you that would like to answer that question
Hi. Uh, hi. Hey, teacher. Um, we were in a restaurant in Cartago about a few months ago. I don't remember the name. I really don't remember the name, but it's a, it's from it's of Mexican food and it's very delicious. The place uh, usually is very very full. It's full of people, but in these times, it, in this time, they they have to 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 admit uh, less people because of of the pandemic. Um, um, but the, the food was very delicious. It is very delicious because the the place is open every day. But that that time was very nice because I we we ate very delicious food. I went to with my husband and my little child. Um, in that moment, it, it, uh, um, the waiters were very. At attentive, I don't know. Um, ah. um, they asked uh, us, uh, asked us if we need some, we need needed some something else, and uh, the place was very um, relaxing, uh, and the food was delicious. Okay, that's it. Having the attention from the waiters and the waitress definitely is very important, Nuri. Yes, I agree with you because when we go to a restaurant, that's what we expect, right? A nice service and what we asked is right over there. I'm getting a little hungry with all these stories on, uh, about restaurants. Now, moving on to the second question. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change the color now. You still you can still see the screen, right? I'm going to change this color so you don't see this anymore. When was the last time you were invited to a wedding? So let's think about the last time you were invited to a wedding. We know that because of pandemic, uh, some people had to postpone their weddings, but still. I've seen some people that they have uh, gotten married during pandemic. Yes. That didn't uh, stop them. So um, think about the last time you were invited to a wedding, and probably you can tell us um, who who got married at that wedding. Was it a friend? Was it um, a family member? Mm -hmm. So maybe we can ask the other participants in the room, Diana or Christian, if you would like to participate. If you remember. Yes, Diana. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, I want to <laughs> to tell you my my experience, but it was a long time ago, so I, I some details I, I don't remember very well, but the last time I were I was invited to uh, a, a wedding. It was like when I was um, 17, probably. So it was like a <laughs> long time ago. And it was, uh, I remember that it was a weird uh, invitation because, um, how do you say, like, like the couple or. I mean, the novios. <laughs> okay. So we can say um, the groom and the bride. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK, OK. The, the, the what? The, the groom and the bride. We call them like that, the day of the wedding. Are you telling, are you talking about them, but the day of the wedding or before? No, the day, the day of the wedding. You say the bride and the groom. And the groom, OK. The groom and the and the bride, <laughs> um, they were interested to invite my little sister um, because she was child and they they needed a little girl, beautiful um, little girl with my 
my sister was so beautiful when she was younger, when she was a child. So they needed a girl um, to spread the flowers or I don't know. Okay. Yeah, so they yeah. invited invited Sorry. her. Okay, they invited her and they invited my my parents too because they didn't have enough money to contract wait, waiter and waitress. <laughs> so they asked my parents okay. to be the waiter. Not to contract, but to hire. They did, they could not hire. Yeah, to hire. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So they they asked my parents to to serve food in their waiting, and and then they invited me. I don't know why, because I, I didn't. <laughs> I <laughs> I was in front of of them, and I was as I told you, I was a teenager, and I, I wasn't interested to go in the wedding, but I don't know. They invited me. And I went to the wedding and my parents served my food. And I was like a weird experience. I don't know why. My mm -hmm. parents just met this couple, but they didn't close. They wasn't, no, they weren't. I'm sorry. They weren't close friends of, of them. So it was, it, it made more strange the experience, I think. Because oh. <laughs> they didn't. So if we have to calculate, Diana. If we say the last time, was it like 10 years ago? Can we say that? Was it 10 years ago? Yeah, I think so, 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that was very weird. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. and after wedding, we didn't see more that couple. So it was so weird. And they it never asked for my sister, yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. Very strange, very strange. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sharing. Magali, do you want to participate? That you raise your hand? If you if you can activate the camera when you participate, perfect. I understand that sometimes your uh, internet connection is a little bit unstable when you activate the camera, but if you can do it, it will be better. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it if you can do that. Uh, okay. Yes, Magali, uh -huh. tell us. Yes, uh, I think it's very difficult. Uh... To be invited to a wedding because the highest the highest cost of the all the um, all the cer ceremony and the um, and the party, but uh -huh. um and usually um the groom and the bride invited invite and the closest uh, relatives, but uh -huh. I was invited to a wedding uh, this year on April April. Enable. But it was a, a, a virtual wedding, oh. but uh, but I couldn't I couldn't uh, connect because I was in another meeting. Okay. But uh, I. No, well, no, I, think, I think it would be a, a great great experience because I having been in a virtual wedding, but I couldn't. Uh, yeah. I couldn't. It's true, Magali. The, the, you could join. Uh -huh. This year um, has been full of new experiences for a lot of people. Having a virtual wedding could be one, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see the next question mm -hmm. that we have here. Let's have. Yes. OK. Have you ever been given a surprise? Describe it. OK. Let's think about a surprise that you got and tell me about it. Who would like to participate in this one? Let me see the people that are here. The last time, think about a surprise. Could be someone got you something, I don't know, or someone threw a surprise party for you, or... 
I, I can share my experience if you like. Okay, thank you. Yeah, um, I think the latest surprise I got was a, a big gift uh, from my best friends once I finished the uh, the university in, in, in the last quarter. So um, it was amazing. I was finishing my uh, minor major degree. <laughs> so it was so interesting because I didn't expect that. I was at home, you know, in the middle of COVID. So you are not waiting for a gift or, or a package uh, at your door. Mm -hmm. So it was like strange because I received a call and it was the messenger saying, hey, you know, do, do you, are, are you at home? Um, I'm outside. Uh, I have a, a package for you. And I was like, hey, who sent that to me, <laughs> right? Because it was uh, over Saturday in the afternoon, so a weird time. Um, I, I didn't expect that. So when I go outside, it was a, a, a box with some balloons, with a couple of beers, wine, uh, with some candies. So mm -hmm. it was a really great surprise. And, uh, and I was impressed because I, I didn't expect that. And um, the right... I can say 10 or 15 minutes later, my um, my friends called me, they, they, they did a video call. So they we were all together through WhatsApp, uh, you know, seeing the, the gift and, uh, and I say, uh, you know, a lot of thanks because definitely they surprised me that, that Saturday. That was a great surprise. What was your, the favorite thing that you got from that package? It was um it, it it was a decoration at the top that was a um, uh, like a prompt hat so it was so funny because um it has a big balloon and and the hat was over it so it was a good decoration and it made me feel you know different because um, again due to the COVID there was not great uh, prompts in the university so i was finishing my career but we were not gonna have this the ceremony uh, with the university so it was so nice because at least i received uh, a little prom hat <laughs> uh, with, with the nice. gift uh-huh that was a very, very nice surprise okay nuria what about you what would you like to say hi i i, I want to share a, a little experience uh -huh. um, about two years ago in my birthday i i usually take uh, free my my birthday day and when i i returned at uh, that time to, to the office to, to work i found my desk with a little with a lot of uh, ornaments i don't know and little um spiders and and a, and a card from three G co-workers that I usually I usually had a lunch with them huh. and I I didn't expect that they 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 was going to 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 put some things in, in my in my days I they left me a um a little gift. I like the the movies of the books of Harry Potter and they used that 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 topic to 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 put some ornaments on in my desk and that was very nice because I, I didn't expect it. I think that that's the best thing of surprise because when we say it was a surprise, what you just mentioned, Nuria, we were not expecting that. So that's exactly why we are like, oh, I was, you, you say I was surprised at that moment. Magali? Well, they were very lucky because they got a, a good surprise. But just today I received um, but a disgusting surprise because I received a mail in which and they tell, um, tell me that I failed a course. I got um, an email. A 70, 78, and I need an 80. <gasps> and I was expecting a better grade because the exam was very easy and I study a lot. But um, I requested for an explanation because I'm very sure that I've got a better grade. And, and why did you uh, need an 80? Was it a master program? 
uh, no, it was um, uh, it was called a um, specialization, but but the name was too big for the the program because it's the, the, the um, professor says he uh, wasn't. He thinks the name of the course is not related to the. I don't know the, the content of of the um, achievements uh -huh. that you can get with that course. Okay. okay. But it was another. Well, uh, it was a um, a program in, in institution of uh, the Bolsa de Valores. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So I think it's a good example. It was a surprise for you because you were not expecting that, but. It was not a nice surprise to get that email, right? That's what you want to say. Yes, excuse me. You are saying that it was a surprise for you, but not a nice surprise to get that email exactly. from the professor. Exactly, mm -hmm. because I I feel felt the exam was very easy and I know all the answers and I do uh, I did it with uh, carefully. So I can understand because I'll I receive a bad okay, great. Okay. Well, is it just two two points? Just two points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I, I, expecting something else. Yes, and I haven't the I haven't received the uh, the answers of the complaint to know in which uh, or what what were my mistakes. Ah, okay. So it 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 was a it was a recent surprise, Magali. Yes, I received it um at four or four or three or four today. Today. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, let's hope they answer, they reply, and they say it was a mistake. Hopefully. Yes. I hope too. <laughs> Thank you, Magali, for sharing. Uh, the rest of the people are coming in some minutes. I just wanted to mention uh, two things that for the, the you, you were talking. Some of you are using verbs in the present, so let's just be careful with that. Uh, some of you use the, the verb give. Uh -huh. They give us, they give me. What's the past tense of give? Do you remember? Gave. Gave. Uh -huh. Gave. So it happens when we're like telling an anecdote or a story, we, we mix tenses, but um, that was something. And then um, someone mentioned people and someone said less people. So we're going to say fewer people. Okay, no less, but fewer people. And someone mentioned they was going. So the correct form will be they were going. Yes, they were going to this place or to that place. Um, I would like to answer the question while we wait for the others. Have you ever been given a surprise? Uh, well, yes, uh, when I turned 15, which was a long time ago, my parents threw a party. It was a surprise party. And it was a real surprise. I was not expecting the party at all. And every everything was really, really uh, well planned by my family. So when I arrived home, all my friends and family members were there. And even today, because a long time has passed after that, even today, I remember how surprised I felt. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice surprise, not like with Magali's situation that it wasn't like a, 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 a nice surprise. She wasn't expecting that, but it wasn't so nice. And um, I don't know if anybody would like to say something else before the rest uh, come here to the main room. Maybe you, you couldn't participate in the answer that you would like to say something. Well, um, I have an answer about the third question. Uh -huh. um, yes, um, I remember that when I was at school, I don't remember we, which uh, year, maybe when I was eight, maybe, 
I don't remember very well. Um, on my birthday, um, the school told me that the morning classes were not going to take place. So I didn't, I didn't go in the morning. Mm -hmm. But what I didn't know is that those classes were being used by my classmates and my teacher to prepare a surprise party for me in the class. So when I go to the classroom in the in the afternoon, the lights were off. So I turned them on and all my classmates came out of their hiding places saying, surprise! And something <laughs> funny happened. And that is that I began to cry <laughs> from the scare they gave me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Then I come down and enjoy the party later. <laughs> so you felt scared at the at the at the beginning. Yeah, I was scary. I didn't expect it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that is so nice. And I guess for the people that are preparing everything, it's really exciting. Yes, yeah. I remember when we were planning a party for my mother. I was so excited, and we were like. <gasps> And where is she? And is she going to find out? And we were preparing everything and people were coming. And I think it's an exciting experience for everyone and that everyone uh, has to be very careful so that the birthday guy uh, or the birthday girl doesn't uh, suspect anything that there's a surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't suspect anything. <laughs> so that, that's part of the surprise, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Marta. Thank you for sharing. Um, I guess the rest of the people are joining the session right now. They were discussing different questions. Mm -hmm. And let me just check how many people we have here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I think that we have everybody here in in the main room. So welcome everybody. I hope uh, you could practice uh, with the rest of the people. You could have you, you had the opportunity to practice the questions. The questions that you see right now are the questions we were discussing in in this main room. So um, I would like to ask some people to help me answer the questions from the other groups. So maybe Kevin, can you help me read the first question? Uh, you cannot use a microphone, right? I guess. Let me see. Yeah, but you need to tell you need. I'm sorry. You need to tell Alex who is the person so that he can enable. Ah, OK. Uh, it's Kevin. Alex, Kevin is going to help me read. Yes, Kevin, they're going to allow you to allow you to use the microphone. We are telling Alex to help you. So Kevin is going to read the first question. And uh, we will have someone from the other uh, rooms uh, answer this first question. OK. Do you hear me now? Yes. Excellent. So question number one is, can you describe a place in which you were very well served? Thank you, Kevin. Um, let's see. I would like to know if someone from the other groups would like to answer this question to practice the question that Kevin just read. You can raise your hand so we can uh, allow you to, to use the microphone. Can you describe a place in which you were very well served? For instance, in the group, um, Kevin mentioned when he got a tattoo, he got a really good service and some others uh, mentioned uh, a good service. They got at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Anybody from the group, you can raise your hand if you want to answer this question. Mm -hmm. 
or we can move on to the other one. Maybe it's more exciting to talk about weddings for you. Okay, I'm, going, I'm moving to the other one. When was the last time you were invited to a wedding? So I'm going to ask someone specifically, eh, Carlos Andres. Uh -huh. Carlos, do you remember? When was the last time you were invited to a wedding? Yeah, it was um, like, a, I don't know, seven years ago to my wedding. <laughs> That was the last one. <laughs> was your own wedding? <laughs> yeah, that was the last one. My own wedding. <laughs> well, did you enjoy it? Yeah. My wife is in front of me. I have to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I, I I really enjoy it. And since then, I really enjoy my life. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Again, because I'm thrown at my wife and I have to say yes. <laughs> okay, okay. That's it. <laughs> I know, I know you are very happy. I, I can see that in every class. Okay. Grace, you want to, thank you. Grace, you want to participate? Yes, I remember about the first question, how uh -huh. to respond. Mm -hmm. Was today, uh, this afternoon, I was uh, at gas station, at the gas station, and the boy who served my, my gas, uh, my gas, uh, was very nice, and I, I was, I, I, I surprised myself with that kind of service because all the time, and everywhere. There is something not normal that someone serve you in a, a very well manner. I, I was amazing. He, he gave me a bottle of water and two candies. Uh, how do you feel today? Oh, okay. I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, thank, uh, um, this, is, this bottle of water for you. Thank you. And after that, he, he told me that a uh, wheel is um, without air. And he said, uh, "I'm going to uh, to to give uh, to put some air in your wheel." And I I try in the other wheels, and I was okay. Thank you. Nobody cares about about my wheels if that is punched out or or without air. Thank you so much. And he gave me all the explanation about my my the other wheels and was all all was all of them were terrible and i was thinking why i am um, um astonished about his behavior because we are not this is not a normal this is not normal right now that people give you the best thing that serving you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this, this is not that normal is, that is a very a good example and when we get the service we learn and if we need to give us give a service to others we learn from those people yes because we feel like i felt really good i'm going to do the same so that yeah. was a, a very nice experience thank you grace i'm going to thank move you. on to these uh questions i'm gonna make them a little bit bigger because i'm not sharing the full screen mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to, I'm going to choose this one. Have you ever been mistaken for someone else? So I would like to know um, if there is a volunteer here who would like to answer that. I think Christian is raising his hand. Okay, Christian. Hello everyone. Um, Hello. I I I want to tell a story about the the last time I went to a, a wedding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, the last time I I went to a wedding was about five years ago, and um, it was very funny because it, the the wedding was uh, uh, the the one of my best friends. Um, uh, the the family of my friend is Afro-American, 
for American people. And the Bright's family is white and conservative uh, people. Um, it was very funny because they have half of the half of the party um, was dancing <laughs> in, in, in and the other and the and the half of the party it was sitting in 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 the in in, in, in their tables and um, it was very curious where but at the end of the of the um, of the party, um, everybody was dancing, <laughs> mixing everybody, the conservative and the other ones um, was dancing with very, very interesting mix uh, with with this different, different type of people. So I don't know how to say, but uh, it was very interesting and Mark, or I don't know how to say the, the the different it was uh, very no sé cómo I don't know how to say marcaba la diferencia <laughs> Sorry I was mute it was like very easy to 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 see the difference uh, on 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 the type of people Okay okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay so it was nice Kristin that you had like like a very nice time at the wedding and and that's the idea of weddings, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, definitely. Thank you. For the beginning, I was in the with the dancing people. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> that is very nice. And what about this question, guys? To finish, have you ever been mistaken for someone else? And Diana, do you want to answer this question? <laughs> yes, teacher. Actually, it wasn't me. I have a friend who was mistaken for someone, <laughs> but I will tell you the story about it. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a friend and he, one day he was driving his car and a motorcycle, well, someone in motorcycle asked, asked him, hey, are you Panchito, let's say. Are you Panchito? And, and he told him, no, I, I'm not. Why you asked? Why, right? So they say, no, no worries. There's nothing to worry about. Bye. And just uh, the motorcycle. Um, uh, I, I don't know how to say that. Um, speed, I think. They speed faster. And the guy who asked him for Panchito, let's say, and he was hiding a gun in, in the back. Yeah, and I think probably it could be like, a, how do you say that? People who kill people for money? A hitman. <gasps> a hitman, yeah. Yeah, he was, so my friend was almost to be <laughs> killed in that moment, I think. He was mistaken, but um, thanks God. Um, he he said no. He said no. I'm not Panchito because he was almost to be killed in that moment. That was very scary, Diana. Yeah, I know. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm <laughs> very scary. Um. So, uh, Kevin, you want to say something? Yeah, something short. Um. With uh, Kevin, uh, finish, guys. Thank you, Kevin. Go ahead. Sure. Uh. It's a similar example. My mom, she has a twin, so usually my auntie and my mom get into problems because they are identical twins. <laughs> so it's so common every time that you get that you ride a bus or you are in the market or any other place that that you listen to um, that that someone asks to my mom. Hey Sadie, how are you? But that was not Sadie, that was my mom, Carmen. So that was completely funny because my mom just turned around and said, Hey, doing great. What about you? How about your sons? How, how's everything? <laughs> and, and she just, you know, followed the conversation. So um, it's so funny. And then when they met um, 
you know, when they when they connect with my auntie again, they say, hey, I see you last time in, in the market. Uh, how's everything going? Hey, I was not there. So the people just get like lost <laughs> because they didn't realize that was uh, my, my, my mom or my auntie. So it, they always confuse them. OK, so the good thing is that they play along with, with the role and, and they have fun with that. Probably yeah. they a lot of anecdotes when they were younger, I guess. Right? Yes, with, with their boyfriends. So yeah. there was one time that they switched. My mom was, I was understanding like she was dating another guy and he uh, she asked my my auntie just to go with my actual dad <laughs> to a date so they switch the 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 the, the meeting the, the the dates pretty much well like a uh, diana is saying in the chat twin issues definitely uh i love to to listen to, to these stories so guys thank you thank you for for sharing and thank you for for taking this time to to participate in the session i'm going to stop sh uh sharing the screen Ajá. Acá damos por terminada la, la, la actividad de conversación. Muchas gracias a todos por participar. Katia va a continuar aquí con la invitación. Gracias, Lilia. Vamos a compartir un momentito. Vamos a ver. Ok. Ok, perfecto. Agradecemos eh, tanto a Liana como a Lilia este rato o esta actividad que eh, compartieron con nosotros. Este, indicarles que en el chat eh, del evento eh, vamos a estar compartiendo un enlace en el que les invitamos a ingresar para que nos compartan sus comentarios en relación a la actividad de hoy. De antemano agradecemos a todos por su participación.